Hello, my brave readers. Welcome to our reading circle. Today, we're going to read "Time for School, Little Blue Truck," written by Alice Shirtle, illustrated in the style of Jill McElmurry by John Joseph, read and adapted by Miss Coralie. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds. You ever heard? Little blue truck came down the road early one morning with good friend Toad. Little blue truck called beep beep hi to a big bright school bus passing by. What a wonderful bus, all shiny and yellow! She stopped and smiled. Hi, little fellow. Inside, everyone sat in a row. They waved out the windows to blue below. Little duck called quack. There's school today. Little goat said ma. Little horse said nay. Lamb, chick, calf called ba. Peep, moo. We're taking the bus to school, little blue. What a wonderful job," said Little Blue. "I wish I were a school bus too." "You're a good little truck," the school bus said. "But this job needs a bus instead. I'm shiny yellow. I'm long and wide, with lots of windows and seats inside." As the bus drove off, Blue heard her say, "Mustn't be late for school today." Down the road went Little Blue, still wishing he were a school bus too. How do you think Little Blue is feeling right now? Maybe a little disappointed. They were almost home when Blue said. Toad, that's Piggy crying by the road. Oink, oink! I'm late. Poor Piggy wept. I missed the bus. I overslept. Beep, beep! Don't cry," said Little Blue. "Climb in. Let's see what I can do." By now, the bus is way ahead. We'll take another way instead. Blue made a turn and left the road. Hang on, Piggy. Hang on, Toad. I know a path right through this wood. I'll get you there like a school bus should. Bump, bump, bump. The path was rough, and Blue was little. But blue was tough. There were bushes and brambles and towering trees. Croak said Toad. It's quite a squeeze. There's no room here for a great big bus. Beep said Blue. There's room for us. Look at all the animals peeping their heads out to look at Little Blue. How many animals can you find? Who called an owl with mild surprise and looked at Blue with big round eyes? A gray squirrel chattered, "Chee chee chee," and jumped along from tree to tree. When they came to a stream, Blue splashed right in. Beep beep. He said with a little blue grin, "I'm good at streams and getting wet. A little water never stopped me yet." Through the woods, what a bumpy ride! Then there was the road 
on the other side. Oink! yelled Piggy. You did it, Blue! I see the school and the school bus too! Beep! said Blue. It wasn't hard. And he drove right into the school bus yard. The school bus stared and blinked her eyes. Looks like this job is just your size. You're not big, not yellow, not long and wide, but you had room for a friend inside. You did this job in your very own way. We needed a tough little truck today. Nay! Beep! Oink! Quack! Ba! Moo! Everybody cheered. Good job, Blue! How do you think Little Blue is feeling right now? The end. Hooray for Little Blue Truck! He sure saved Piggy's day. Think about the last time you helped someone. What did you do? Let's take a minute to think about it. Pair up with someone close to you and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us today and we'll catch you later at our next reading circle. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.